Hello everybody, my name is Stefano from Labelado and today we talk about the beginner's guide to product packaging and labeling. Your product packaging and labeling is that first impression that a customer experiences as they browse an aisle within the grocery or click through a product listing on a web store. With no second chances, there's tons of things happening on how your product is presented. In fact, consistent with a study published by the Paper and Packaging Board, 72% of consumers stated that packaging design influences their purchasing decision. Making the proper product packaging and product labeling choices are often the difference between an item that sells consistently and one that's frequently overstocked. Today, we will have a look together at how labels and product packaging affect your business perception in the eyes of your customers. We'll also break down why product packaging and labeling is so important to your marketing efforts offering many actionable tips to assist you to make smart design choices which will allow your products to stand out. In order to know how to invest your money properly on your product, you should certainly know what's on the basic level of labeling and packaging. Let's get through this. A product packaging serves three main functions. First, it's where you convey important information just like the product's description, ingredients, materials, and the way to use the product itself. Second, a product packaging is your primary opportunity to line your product aside from similar items sitting just feet or inches or centimeters away. And lastly, packaging protects your product, makes it more resistant to shipping and keeps it fresh. Never before have consumers had such a lot of choices and with the increase of increasingly specialized tastes and preferences, the importance of differentiating your product has never been greater. The value proposition of your brand is dictated by the design of your packaging. So try to emphasize important features like eco-friendly sustainability, high quality, etc. So here are some of my product packaging design tips. Number one, use graphics to speak. At our core, humans are visual creatures. We painted and drew images in caves and on rock walls to speak with each other. Within the modern age, text has become an important part of our life because it conveys information, but humans still believe visual elements will be the best way to share information. Number two, keep it consistent. Your choice of colors, fonts, and graphics should dovetail with those utilizing your logo in other product marketing. If you got established offerings, confirm there's a transparent link between your, your packaging design elements of both the old and new products. Number three, design together with your audience in mind. Think about your product proposition, but more importantly, think about how customers perceive it. If you're branding a snack for kids on an ex or an expensive spice, you will have to understand for what your customers are looking in the value proposition, colors and fonts of the product packaging itself. While being very funky on the expensive spice with colors could be an innovative marketing strategy, it will be best suited for the product packaging for the kids' snack, while the important spice will probably express its value with a more natural material, color, and maybe a gold foil stating the brand's name. Number four, important information first. You know your audience, then you know what they are seeking for. Is it a natural product that has less impact on the planet? Is it a special diet that you are offering? Then this information should be very visible and in front of the labels and product packaging. Number five, keep it clean and streamlined. People are inundated with advertising messages of all types. 
Customers seek ease of use and readability. A minimalist product packaging and label design looks more sophisticated and fewer cluttered than one that's loaded down with helpful but visually overwhelming details. Less is more when it involves package design. Number six, take it easy on the earth. Eco-minded consumers will be sensitive to how you promote your product packaging and its disposal stating on the packaging itself how it has made how it was made and how it can be recycled is a wise step those elements take a good part of your design but if your marketing research reveals that your customers are very conscious of the environment then try to expose those infos number seven give your packaging a second life for more packaging applications, it's possible to reuse part or all of the first material for something else. A metal tin which will be used for storage, a cloth bag which will be double as a beach bag, or packaging that's designed to be cut out and used as a child's mask or a princess tiara are just a couple of ways that your packaging can survive after it is consumed. Sharing ideas with consumers for a way to reuse your product packaging makes it more attractive and your repurposed packaging will function as a reminder of your product long after its original content is overdue. Don't forget your product labels. With careful planning and effective design, your product will stand out, leading to more sales. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any future videos about packaging, design, e-commerce, and much more. If you really like this video, remember to share it with your friends and colleagues. And as always, love you all. Ciao.